what I want to do in these next two years, if if I get elected, is I want to write policy where the city is actually purchasing um, rundown houses, abandoned houses. On my street alone, there's two vacant double lots that haven't been lived in for over a decade, right? And I want to see the city actually purchasing these, hiring project managers to um, to uh, create projects around these properties where we're encouraging smaller developments, small, smaller developers to actually come and um, actually try to uh, entice the neighborhood to accept their project, right? To do actual community engagement and community development. So the neighbors and people like me and yourself could decide who our neighbors are, could decide what kind of projects we want in our neighborhood, right? So like, it's not just feel like some outside person is coming in and doing this, but we actually, everyone has some buy-in on what's going up in their property. But like, Every neighborhood I've been in in District 3 has a considerable amount of just abandoned houses, right? Yeah. Um, you can go to the South End, and there are abandoned brownstones in the South mm -hmm. End, in mm -hmm. the middle of one of the hottest housing markets on record, right? In the yeah. middle of a housing crisis, right? But and when I talk to small developers, they can't get into the game because it's too much of an entry cost, right? You have to spend a million or a million five, but the city could you know, could front that cost and then allow a smaller developer and smaller developers and local labor and laborers of color and women and, and encourage uh, certain building materials and green materials and solar and all types of things to, to actually combat yeah. climate control, climate change, sorry, and then also combat the housing crisis and combat yeah. people leaving. I know, like I keep saying this, like me, you and Mike have lost friends, friends that leave the city or even the state because they can't afford to live here. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I I really appreciate what you're saying, Joe, because I think that what you're giving voice to is that um, there's there's a lot of complexity around the lack of affordability of housing, yes. right? Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. we can talk about we can talk about production um, and all the challenges around production. We can talk about you know what is affordable and what that price point is and what happens. We can talk about planning and community process and you know uh, I agree. We, we we need a little bit of all those things, right? right. I mean. You know, we need to be able to have more comprehensive planning. We need to have incentivized ways to incentivize production. Yes. We need all those pieces, right? Um, um, and to figure out how to do all of that, I think the city has to be bold um, and has yeah. to tackle that in a really in, in a really critically important way. And I think. I think obviously um, revamping our, zo our, our zoning is going to be so important to to not have to have some intentionality around it um, and to think about what it actually ends up looking like. So it, you know, I, I appreciate you sharing that. I do wonder in that same vein, um, you know, 